why did love and faith decide to be so unfair to me? Why can't I be allowed to be with a man that means the world to me? My king, am I cost? Mm -mm. Don't ever say that again. Why would anyone look at a beautiful woman like you and call you cursed? No, you're not cursed, my darling. You're just like raw gold that needs to pass through fire to make fine steel. How do you mean? Everything that we're going through, it's just normal. Things that we need to go through for our love to shine. And how long is that going to take for that to happen? Oh, very soon, my darling. Very soon. All of this animosity, jealousy, envy, you know, would die down. People would get used to our love and celebrate our love. <laughs> you just have a way of consoling my bleeding heart with your sweet and beautiful words. When you know that what you have said will never happen. How do you know that the things that I say will not happen? Hmm? Have you stopped believing in the power of love? You just said to me some minutes ago that the elders said the death of my father means the end of our marriage plans. Worry not yourself about the words of my cabinet members. But think constantly about the power of our love. For that in itself is capable of seeing us through. Okay? You just have a way of changing situations with your words. I know. <laughs> you just have a way of changing situations with words. Thank you for giving me hope to love and believe in the power of love again. Thank you for coming back to love this imperfect king in the most perfect way. And I will always love you no matter what. Please, my king, can you forgive Obi? and grant him freedom. How I wish the dead can witness their own burial. Why did you say that? <laughs> Mama, where will I start from? Is that the 10 cows? Five different bands? Mama, or is it the serve yourself kind of food? Hey? The king really spends lots of money in this papa's burial room. I wish your father was alive to witness that Dobi he was seriously fighting for could not contribute anything meaningful in this burial. Mama, if not for the king, will they see this kind of burial in this kingdom? Nebe. Hey. Hey, but Mama. The only problem right now is how do we return the bride price back to Obi? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like your father told me, uh, the, the tradition of this kingdom forbids a woman from uh, returning bride price or collecting dowry. <laughs> That's it. But the question is, what do we do? What's the way forward? Well, um, I could remember that your father told me that his younger brother relocated to uh, 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 one kingdom like that years ago. His younger brother. Younger brother. Oh, yes, 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 Mama, I remember. I remember Uncle of Fokansi. That's it. Hey. Fokansi. But did he tell you the particular kingdom? Mm -hmm. um, 
Umuri. Ah, yes, yes, uh, yes. yes. Umuri, ancient kingdom. kingdom. Hey, yeah, I but I don't know if he will still be there. I don't know, but we will check. Oh, we have, we have to now. Hey, but we don't know the exact place. Don't worry, when we get to that place, we know how to go. Hey. We, we will ask. You're not going to spend the rest of your life thanking me now, would you? My uh, thanksgiving to you will never cease. Is that so? Yeah, you don't understand what you have done for my family and I. What exactly did I do? You lifted a huge burden off our shoulder. Come on, stop it. It's nothing. We truly appreciate your kindness. Thank you too for staying true, baby. Can I get a kiss for that? Why you want a kiss now? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. <sighs> there is a new development. Is that so? Yeah. What is it? My mother mentioned my father's younger brother can stand in as my father. Hold on. Your father has a brother? Yes, he does. You never mentioned him. I guess I forgot. <laughs> but he doesn't live in this kingdom. So, he can return the bright prize to Obina and his kinsmen. And also accept your bright prize you pay on my head. I see you have it all worked out, huh? <laughs> I cannot wait to be your wife. Hmm. Mm. The power of love. I am now an ardent believer. I told you you would. <laughs> Come here. Mm. What do you want? And how did you locate my house in the first place? Oh, of all can see, calm down. <laughs> Why not welcome us properly? Um, the, uh, the king is here before you. The king, you say? Yes. <laughs> oh no! The last time I checked, he's the king of Obodoku Kingdom, and not the king of this very kingdom that I live. I ask you again, Ono, for the last time. What do you want? Of oh, course, I don't need a soothsayer to tell me that we are not welcome in your board. Well, for whatever reason best known to you. However, I beg of you. Kindly find a place you have to forgive us. Whatever wrong we have done against you, kindly forgive us. Grant us audience. Can we go inside and have a word with you? Audience inside my house? Listen to me. You are going to stand right here and tell me whatever you have come to tell me. And you have just five minutes to do so. Well, um, a man has right to accept, welcome, or reject a visitor. Oh, thank God you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, we respect that decision of yours. But our king needs your help. That is why we have traveled all the way from Oboruku to your place. Please. <laughs> Listen, I do not have that luxury of patience right now. So go straight to the point. Oh, no. Uh, okay, okay. Our king is interested in marrying your late brother's daughter. Oh, really? Yes, of course. <laughs> king! And how is that my business? <sighs> the marriage cannot hold without the bride price paid on her head by her former husband being returned to him. And you are the only one that can do that. Returning of the old red prize and receiving of the new one from our king. Kindly do what this favor. I beg you in the name of whatever you believe, whatever you worship, do help us. Please. Oh no. It is only a dog that goes back to its vomit. Oh no, my late brother and his entire family are the vomit I am not ready to go back to. You have both overstayed your welcome in my compound. I need you to leave before I do something very stupid. 
We should leave. I said leave. Uh, we should leave, uh, including the king. Yes, with the king. Leave. can see other you out of his house. Not just other us out of his house. I have never been humiliated or embarrassed like this in my life. I come I needed to see how he belittled the king and I. As if we are not existing. As if we are nothing. He abandoned us, left us outside, went inside. Can you imagine? This is serious. How can a, a, a Fokansi be so rude to you and the king? Well, the thing is, according to him, he said this family is a vomit and he can never, never go back to it again. And um, more of a truth, Adugo, I want to ask you, what is the thing? Is there, is there anything this family is owing him? What is the problem? I mean, because... Uh, so, her focus see is still harboring that malice in his heart. Even though his elder brother is late. Hey! Uh, uh, Kambi, come in. What? What malice are you talking about? My husband told me that there was a land dispute between our focancy and the chief so. Mm -hmm. And then our focancy, knowing very well that the land does not belong to him, reported the matter to their kinsmen. Along the line, they were ordered to swear. And my late husband interceded by telling the truth in order to save the life of his younger brother. This is the case. Hmm. This is very serious. I never knew he still has that in his mind, up to date. Up to date, upon his elder brother has died. Why? This is very serious. Uh, oh no, what do we do? What do we do? This is serious. Hmm. Hmm. This is serious. So this man still has this in his mind. No wonder. Oh no, what do we do? The fact that the lion belongs to the cat's family does not make the cat a lion. Or focus is a principled and a strong willed man who has to repeat himself. So the question is, what are you doing in my compound? Uh, Biko, or focus say, take it easy, we are all humans. Biko. That Look, our people used to say that in your cocoa on media, I know you had an issue with my late husband, your brother. But for how long are you going to keep this malice? How long? It has been years. Your brother is now late. Bikonu, allow the sleeping dog lie. There is no sleeping dog in this case. And if there was, it will continue being awake. Mm -hmm. I ask you again. What are you doing in my compound? I stop beating, stop beating about the bush. Please. I, I, it's okay. I am here because of the issue of uh, Mary's marriage. Our daughter. Your daughter. Biko. 
You can't keep dwelling in the past. Bikonu, you are now the father of our family. You are the, you are the papa we know. Yeah? I urge you to move on. Bikonu, now move on. Because the issue of Miri's marriage is now lying on your shoulders. Bikonu, I'm begging you. Listen to the plea of a broken woman. There's nothing I can do. There is I... no peace for the wicked. My late brother brought this whole drama upon his family. I will advise you to go back home and dance to the tune he has established. Hey. Hey. No, please, do, do, please. Don't do this to me. Listen to me. If the hope and life of your little family is hanging on an edge, and I, of Okasi, will have to be the one to save it, I will sit back and watch you perish. So get out of my compound. Leave my house. Oh, fuck leave. See. Leave. Fuck and see. Just leave. I oh, fuck and see you. I said leave my house. Hey. Oh fuck and see. This is not fair. Leave my house. Nkabuzi kwensi kofo. Nkabuzi kwensi kofo. How can you behave like this? When only my late brother stood against me, where were you? When he stood against me, where were you? You are no more fuck and see you. This is sensi kofo. Nonsense. Hello, my love. I am not totally fine. I'm not at all. Can you believe what happened today? Hmm. My mom went to see my uncle of Okansi because of this same marriage issue and he humiliated her. Yes, he, his reasons is because of what happened between him and my late father in the past. Because of the land dispute, exactly. I don't know, he said my father was against him and he lost the case. That's why he won't forgive him, even in death. Can you imagine that? <sighs> my love, this whole thing is getting me worried. It's giving me sleepless nights. Okay, my love. I'll I'll just I'll try to be fine. Okay. No, I won't. I can't give up in our love. I won't do that. All right. I love you too. All right. Bye. Why are you people disturbing my peace? Have I not made it clear that I am not ready to do what you're asking me to do? My late brother stood against me when I needed him most. He spoke in favor of Ijoku instead of me, his blood brother. Now tell me, how do you expect me to do anything that will favor his, his family? How? Of all kinds, truth is bitter. We all know that your late brother Onu did what he should do. He did the right thing. And his singular action saved you from death. That is the truth of the matter. But, think for instance, if he did not open up to say the truth, if he had allowed you to swear that the land in question belonged to you, that would have been your end. But, but that is not why we are here anyway. I beg of you, kindly let us concentrate on the matter on ground. Of oh, course, I beg of you, please, do have a change of heart, for God's sake. Marzi, of oh, course. I understand how you feel. You see, when situations like this arise, first, things first, I'd like to, as much as I can, put myself in people's shoes. That way I get to feel what they feel. So that I don't make um, an insensitive assessment of what is going on. But having said that, I want you to know that I am here because I respect you. 
I'm here because I want peace. I am here because I propagate peace. I am here because I love your niece. Become. I also want to tell you that I am also not here to talk about the events of the past and who was wrong or who was right. I'll ask that you forgive so that the innocent children of today do not have to deal with the sins of their fathers. Become. Become. From your narration, I'm a name But dozien, butu. Ah, this is your niece. She needs you, and you need her too. I beg you, forgive my father in any way he offended you in the past. Please don't turn your back at me at this very point in time. Uncle, look at me. Please. At least if not for any reason. For the sake of this child I am carrying. I beg you, Uncle, please. Please forgive me. Forgive me, I beg you. That's all right. Right, Listen to me. I have forgiven you and your family. I've heard. For the mere fact that an innocent child is involved in this situation, it simply means I have to do all that I have to do. Stop crying, that's all right. Okay. Uh. Mas, thank you very much. I know that she appreciates our respect. That's why she wants to see us. Thank <laughs> you. 